This is watershed. They usually start from the highest elevation and work their way downward to the lowest point, collecting in a delta or other body of water. Permeable is when water can travel through the ground to collect in an aquifer. Some examples are the sand and gravel. Impermeable layers is when the water can't travel through the ground. An example is the clay. Groundwater is just water found in the ground or below the surface. It can collect there, making an aquifer. Same examples as the water found inside the sand or pebbles. Surface water is the water found above the ground. It is the, like the lakes, rivers, and oceans. Porosity is the holes found in the ground. When something is permeable, it usually has a large porosity. The rocks have porosity, but the clay does not. The sand is not as porous as the rocks, but it has more porosity than the clay. Non-point source pollution is pollution where you can't identify where it's coming from. The green dye is an example of non-point source pollution because we don't know where it entered the water. Point source pollution is pollution where you can't identify where it's coming from. The red Kool-Aid stuff is coming from the factory, so we know it's point source pollution. Here are some examples of point source pollution. Here are some examples of non-point source pollution. The water flows downward to the lowest point. When we put a pencil under it, the water went to the lowest elevation. When we tested the water from the well, it came up polluted with the red dye in it. My conclusion is that we have to be careful what we put in our water and air because water should can spread contaminated water through into non-contaminated water and soon there won't be any drinking water left.